Hi everyone, I'm Travis Guillory from Two Works For You, and here's your latest digital update. A Tulsa fire captain has been arrested, accused of robbing two banks. Jerry Brown is expected to be booked into the Osage County Jail today. He was arrested yesterday, and the FBI is now looking to bring federal charges against Brown as well. He's been an employee of the city of Tulsa for 17 years, and he's currently been placed on administrative leave. And for the second day in a row, state health officials have reported no new coronavirus-related deaths in Oklahoma. But they did report 88 new cases, and that brings the state total of positive cases to nearly 5,400. They say 64% of those new cases are out of Texas County, the Oklahoma Panhandle. Health officials said that they're partnering up with the CDC businesses in the community to develop a robust testing and tracing strategy to contain and minimize further spread of the virus. Here in Tulsa County, there are 100 active cases currently. And those who have filed for unemployment might want to check their credit report for about the next month or so. Turns out a computer glitch in the OESC system may have compromised some personal information, which includes first and last names, street addresses, and the email address that you use to apply for benefits. Officials say that they were able to fix the problem in just a couple of hours, but a former programmer and computer expert says that a hacker really can compromise your identity whenever he has your physical and your email address, as well as your cell phone number. Besides watching your credit report, you can also call the credit bureaus to put a freeze on your account if needed. That's your latest digital update from Two Works For You. I'm Travis Guillory.